Hi everyone, it's Cars Guide Do It Yourself. Today we're going to show you how to build a sandblasting box, sandblasting cabinet, and it will be built in our way. You ask in the comments how to do it, and here is our answer. We will show you cheap and easy way how to make such a thing for that small sandblasting gun to sandblast things like this brake caliper and much more. Watch this. By the way, having a great time and feel great after you do something yourself. Interested? Stay with us! Ok, we will need storage box like this. We decide to use large one, capacity 130 liters. Dimensions are long 78 cm, wide 58 cm, height 44 cm. If you are planning to use it very rarely, a standard plastic lid will be sufficient. But if you intend to use the box often like we do, then I'm recommending to install a piece of glass at the top of the lid. Glass is much more resistant to sandblasting and will not get mad as fast as plastic can. Inside we have with control fabric, we will use it as a dust filter. It's cheap and you can cut any shape you want, it's perfect. Also you decide how many layers you need, 1, 2, 3, it's up to you. Next item, pack of cable ties. These are 300mm long, useful in any DIY projects. Long strong rubber gloves, they should be long enough to reach at least 3 quarters of container length. Pipe couplers, double socket, 110mm, grey and orange. One will be used in holes for hands, second in ventilation holes. For green clips to keep lid on place. Smaller storage boxes have clips mounted already in lid. We will mount them opposite each other. Door or window weather stripping, self-adhesive to seal lid and glass also can be used to seal box edge and lid. Metal brackets to hold glass on lid and bolts with washers and butterfly nuts to work together. Last item, I know from experience that it's much more convenient to have permanently mounted air hose than constantly putting the air hose through the opening. Also it's easier to seal the hole, I will show you how to do it later. This flexible recoil hose is very cheap. Let's prepare those couplers, we have to cut them in half and I will do it using angle grinder. Remember to always wear your eyes protection. To make a straight cut it is worth to determine the center and tape it along with the tape. You can cut it using other method, it's just proposition. Blunt the edges with a knife or sandpaper like that. Great, now they are ready to be mounted. We have to mark the right place where holes will be made. It is the best to do this about half of the height of the wall. The holes should be spaced about the width of our hands. Many tools can be used to make a hole, we decided to use the hole cutter. However, it will not be a standard hole cutter like this one, but we will use adjustable hole cutter. We can set exact diameter that we need. Of course, before you do the first cut, test your settings on similar material to be sure that we will do it in right way. Ok, let's mark the right place. Mark the height that will suit for us. Then the distance from the edge. Same thing in other side. Using smaller drill make guide holes for the hole cutter. Slowly cut the first hole, but be careful to not damage the box. It's almost done, now using the knife, cut the rest of the way, just small cut here at the top. Perfect, now second hole. Mark points for two ventilation holes, they may be located higher than previous one. First, the right height. Then distance from the edge. Good, ready to drill guide holes. Alright then, cut the holes. Again using the knife, cut it rest of the way. Here it went without cutting with the knife. 
it is good to smooth the whole surfaces, we can use sandpaper to do this, we used P180 grit. Holes are ready and we can mount in them pipe couplers. Depending on how well you cut the holes, it might be necessary to seal the edge so that dust does not escape. This can be sealed with silicone or a tape. As you can see, it is really tight in here, it doesn't require additional sealing for this moment. But don't worry, later we will show you how to seal the air hose with the tape. Now let's mount the pipe couplers in the hands holes. Here you can also seal it if necessary. It fits perfectly. Time for gloves. If anyone were wondering why we left pipe flanges, we'll explain it right away. We put an end of the glove outside the flange just like that. Alright then, using cable ties, secure the glove against slipping. Now do same thing with second glove. Perfect, done! We can proceed with the assembly of the flexible air hose, should be mounted on the side in which we will hold the sandblasting gun most of the time. Right handed on the right, left handed on the left. Select the right drill according to the diameter of the hose end and use it to make the hole. Smooth the hole surface to not to cut the hose. Pull the hose through the hole just like that. We've got cap in here, let's fit it with the tape. Tape it, apply several layers so that it wedges in the hole in such a way. Try to push it as far as you can, prevent it against slipping. Zip the cable ties on both sides. And ready! In the same way you can seal it the pipe couplers in the hands holes and in the ventilation hole. Also you can block it against slipping using cable ties as we did in here. Ready to prepare air filters. We will use weed control fabric. Depending on the weight of the material, more than one layer might be necessary. You have to check it out for yourself. For better look, we will cut now nice circles. We have prepared a cardboard template with a larger diameter than the ventilation hole. Put it on the material and cut out the shape that we need. Repeat it once again. To make assembly easier I prepare cable ties half zip, but still loose enough to fit it easier. Now put on material with cable tie on the flange. Do same thing with second vent hole. Cut the excess of cable ties. Perfect! Ready to prepare the lead. We will cut hole in it to replace plastic with the glass. Before we do that we have to mark straight lines to know where to cut. We will use a piece of cardboard as a template. Measure the distance that we want to have from the edge and cut it out of cardboard to this dimension. Put the cardboard to the lid edge and draw straight lines around the lid, like that. Now we know exactly where we can cut. To cut the hole you can use any tool which you think is right for you, for example angle grinder. 
However, we decided to show how it can be done using the jigsaw. Make sure you have the right blade. We will use blade for metal. Drill a hole in it, which our blade will enter, then drill holes at the ends of straight lines. We can start. Calmly, without any sudden movements, we are moving forward. And it's ready. Now smooth the edges using a knife. Unfortunately, but there were points where lead was cheap, it is better if both edges of the cutted element are supported close to the cutting blade. Let's check if the glass fits. Now mark the places for holes for the glass brackets. Mark four points. Drill the holes. The grease surface to stick window ceiling stripe. I cut each stripe at an angle of 45 degrees and stick it. From that metal bracket we will make 4 small brackets, just cut it like that. Now mount screws with washers in those holes. Put the glass on in place where the glass will be in contact with the brackets, stick a piece of window ceiling stripe, then mount the brackets and screw the wing nut. The same thing with the rest. Perfect! Moment of truth! And it's going really well! Thanks to the air filters, there's no dust swirls inside. We can see everything what's going on in there. It is DIY project, do something from nothing. You can improve this project or add some cool features, write in the comments what do you think and what you can change or add. Best ideas will be highlighted. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. Job done, thanks for watching.